Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, my name is Amir Shahzad and I'm with again Laika Total Session TS09 Plus and uh, continue last uh, three videos were uh, discussing about the intersection point. Uh, how we can calculate this intersection point using by the Laika Total Station. So today again same fourth video on the same topic but the different way. Uh, today what I'm going to explain for example we have uh, some cross of the two roads. Uh, for example like same like a plus or multiply uh, symbol for example one road is here and the other one crossing here so how we can get this crossing point or intersection point using by the total station why we need to uh, calculate this one and how we can calculate this point these things i am going to explain today in this topic so let's come on the paper first and then i go with the total station the topic uh, which I'm going to explain that is same like a cross. You know, for example, one we have a road here and one we are here. One road coming from here and one coming from the opposite direction. And they are crossing somewhere. That point we need to calculate using by the total station. We are not using any calculator or any program. Uh, for this example, I just assume some of the simple coordinates. For example, my first coordinate north and the east value is 100 100 both are 100 values and I'm, I'm say this length is a hundred meter also both side 100 100 meter so in this case after 100 and I have a true north this be uh, carefully when we have the north because this is I'm going with a simple example why once we go through the total station we can cross check uh, total station give us a proper answer or no that's why I'm using the simple example you can implement anything I already applied this method on different type different times so it's give me a proper answer so only for better understanding I'm using the simple example so the other end for example this one here I have the easting value and northing value because this length is 100 and I have a true north so in this way I'm going only forward to the east direction. So it's mean the east value is here 200. And the north is same. So if I go to the middle in this way, we have the east value 150. Because this is the middle point, midpoint. So midpoint east is the 150. In this way, north direction because it's the same line, so north is the same in 100. So if I go downside, for example, I can say this is my downside point. After, because this total length is 100, so here I have a 50 length. So it's mean my north direction is going minus. So it's mean north is equal to 50. And the east value is same because this is true north is not changing so it's a 150 value of the east so the other end we can say this 50 plus 50 are directly I can add in the north 50 plus 100 it's ghost north direction is 150 and the east value also same 150 so I need to calculate this point so how I can calculate this one using the total station this is a one way other way why we need for sometimes uh, we have a, this kind of road and we need to uh, draw a roundabout like uh, this direction so how we can do I already have a previously one uh, video in this same uh, play store TS09 you can find there that is once we have the center of the curve or the circle and one side direction coordinate we can calculate these all roundabout points on the base on the angle or base on the length of curve this video I already made before you can find in this same playlist so that's why we need this intersection point so let's come with me on the total station we can see on the total station how we can calculate use uh, this midpoint so before I go to the station I have a simply one request please subscribe my channel who did not subscribe still and also hit the bell icon and all notification press on uh, active so in this way when I upload new videos you can get the notification on the same time so let's come with me in the total session 
so after set the total session this is my first display so i need to enter in program so previously video same i explained there is a numbers i can use the number from the keyboard or i can use this arrow key to bring the cursor there and then press ok so i'll bring the cursor through this arrow and then press ok after pressing the ok i'm enter the uh, program uh, folder so here in the program we have a four uh, tabs i'm going with the second tab that called uh, survey plus so from here i can change the page from the page button so i'll press page so here on the number five we have the kogo so I'm press number five. So in after pressing the number five, I enter the Kogo. Here you uh, you can find the description of the Kogo option. I uh, I simply press F4 for continue. And here we have a, a second tab intersection. So that one we are nowadays talking about the intersection. I press I uh, change the page uh, after pressing this button. So after that we have the first option bearing bearing. I go next point, uh, option bearing distance again next distance distance and the fourth option that call is fourth points the, uh, the other three options we already discussed in the previous videos you can watch in the playlist so here we have the four point option the description is writing there the intersection point is calculated between two selected points it's mean if we have the four point coordinate based on that we can calculate the these flag points which i already explained on the paper so simply i'll press f4 for the continue so here i need to mention the point one two three four so my case i'm at the new points for example i add the point number 30 or 31 i'll press ok and then i'll go with the f3 for the find my case there is no 31 point because this is a, a new point so i'll press f4 and again f4 for the east north and height value so 31st point i'll say it's our same like my first point which value we put the 100 and 100 north so first i'll put the value east 100 again press ok then again 100 for the north and press ok and then i am press the f4 key for the continue so in this way total station already save my first point which that point id is 31 so i am going with the second point with the point id 32 i will press ok then find there is no more 32 points so i will go with the f4 key and add the value my 32 points is this point after 100 meters so value is that one east is 200 and the north value is same 100 i'll press ok and then f4 for the continue so here i have the one line which are the point number one and two the id of point number one and two are the 31 and the 32 I'm going with the second line. The second line mean point number three and the point ID I will say this is 33, sorry. And then press okay and then find the 33. Press F4 for continue and here I give the value of point number 33. In my case, I will assume the th last point. This value is easting 150 and north is the 50. That one is my 33 points, num uh, point ID 33 number R point name uh, sorry number are three so 150 is the value is north is the only 50 i'll press okay then continue for the store this point so here we have the point number four the i will give the id first the id i say this is the 34 number point you can put any id so i'll go with f3 for find and f4 for the continue and here i put the value the value of point number four is easting 150 and nothing value is also 150 and then i'll press f4 sorry okay and then f4 for the continue so in this way i have four points and their id number is 31 32 33 and 34 so calculating for the intersection point i'll simply press f2 once i press f2 he give me the uh, middle point or crossing point or intersection point of these two lines as you can see before the start the total session we already calculated that point this value 
and the total station value are matching each other so if we need to store simply we can press f3 key and give the point id or if we need to lay out simply we go with the stakeout so any option you can use for example i need to store so i'll say this is the continue 35 number point i'll press enter or sorry okay and then f3 for the store once i store this point automatically store so if we i need during a uh, next time if i need to use this point i can recall for the stakeout or any purpose i can recall through this point number 35 hopefully uh, you understand this uh, video if you have uh, any question related to this video or any other video you can ask me in the comments i will try to reply as soon as possible take care of yourself and bye